We can definitely hear it now. There we go. All right, okay. What's up, everybody? I'm Evil Rabbit. We are here actually on Xbox One on a set of Corsa to uh, try and do something today. I'm not sure how this is going to turn out, but uh, it's going to be fun nonetheless. Definitely going to be getting a set of Corsa back on the channel more. Hopefully, you're going to have a PC built soon and doing some of the mods as well. So, before we get into that, I wanted to let everybody know that there was a change that was made to my gamer tag. Obviously, with joining of TUS, my gamer tag has been changed to TUS Evil Rabbit. So if you guys are trying to find me and you can't find me, that's why. Make sure you guys search TUS Evil Rabbit for the gamer tag change. So that's the uh, extent of the changes that are happening. Um, so if you guys are trying to find me on Xbox, make sure you guys search uh, TUS Evil Rabbit and you guys will be able to find my uh, profile and follow me and such like that. 280 of you guys already do. So... We are going to get back into Assetto. So the reason we are on Assetto is just to have a little fun trying to, uh, well, trying to drift here on Assetto because, you know, there's one car that I cannot get a handle of on Assetto. And we are definitely going to try and do that today. And that is the Toyota Supra drift car here in Assetto. There's one car that I cannot get a handle on. So I know in Forza and all that, I can drift the Nuremberg GP track. So why not try and uh, do it here on Assetto? I know it's going to be completely different, and I'm probably going to make a fool of myself on this one right now because not knowing the car, not knowing the game. But you know what? I'm going to throw myself into the wolves and just have a little fun with it because that's the only reason I do this is because it is a lot of fun. So maybe we'll get some good s slides in the Supra. Maybe we won't, but we're going to find out here today. So... We are on our Logitech G920, 350 millimeter minty green narrow chrome NRG innovations wheel. Hydraulic cam brake is wired in and should be working. We'll make sure I double check that. Sequential shifter and, uh, well, 900 degrees of rotation, twin turboed fun. And uh, looks like the wheel is all set. So we're going to check our tires, I think. What are we on? Uh, we're on semi slicks. So we're definitely going to take those semi slicks off and go street 90s. And leave everything else the same and uh, make sure uh, we have traction control off turbos are at 70 let's um, actually do those at about 60 I don't know why I'm in outside view so let's make sure my handbrake is working good so uh, well we're just gonna go We'll send on this and see how this works. So, oh boy, definitely, definitely a lot different. And I know a lot of you guys have tried to drift on a Seto, and it's a, uh, it's quite a difficult game to uh, get a handle of because of the way the physics are. Oh God. This Supra is not my friend right now, but we are somewhat getting some slides here. And this Supra just banging off red line. It sounds sick. So the only thing I wish I had would be a real head movement, but it's only available on Xbox or on uh, PC. Too wide. I should know this course by the back of my hand. But we are just trying to uh, not horribly make fools of ourselves today. Probably should be up in uh, third gear with this, but this is actually kind of fun. Trying to, you know, step out of my comfort zone right now with this car and try something else. Oh, that was a bad move. So I think it's time to uh, bump our turbo pressures up a little bit. Bump it up to 80%. There we go. 
actually kind of getting the handle of this right now. Oh, don't lose it there. As I say that, we're about to lose it. Time to kind of get in the handle of this first run out. I haven't been on a setto in a very long time. So this is actually uh, going to go wide. This is actually quite entertaining for my first lap out here in a setto. On PC. Not PC. I say PC like I have it on PC. This is on actually Xbox One. Get wrecked. But, uh, and going on a track other than that little, uh, club track that's in a setter that is so overused. i adjust my seat a little bit. I figured we would hop onto a normal track that I've drifted many a times in Forza, as well as you guys probably saw it in the previous video in some of the clips with, uh, the vet. So we're just trying to be smooth, trying to be kind of cautious with this and uh, have a little fun. Third person in a setto is very disappointing to me with the way it looks. But that fire is pretty amazing though. So we're gonna try and do a lap in third at 80% turbo and see how it goes. Then we'll go back to the first person because you can't really drift in a setto in uh, third person at all. It's not a, it's not very fun looking. That's one thing Aceto bothers me with is the way the views look. But I know uh, if you're on Aceto, you're definitely in first person mode for sure. And especially if you're on PC, you're using either real head movement or an Oculus Rift. Or HTC Vive, I believe it is, which VR is something I want to definitely get into very soon once I get a PC and do some VR drifting. And uh, we're not doing too bad. I'm oh, 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 as I say that, I should never say that. We're not doing too bad given the fact that we haven't been on this game in forever, but this third person is definitely messing with my head. And I know it's probably messing with your guys' head as well because it's messing with mine. It's definitely messing with yours. But we are able to get some decent slides going on right now. I just love seeing the super belch flames out the back of this car. Let's see if we can do a quick transition like in Forza. Reverse entry? Nope. I got a little bit too greedy on that. But... We are going to go back into uh, our first person view because I do love first person Assetto with the steering wheel going 900 degrees. I'm going to go up to 100 turbo. See what happens. We can definitely hear it now. There we go. Alright, okay. Ooh. Uh, I, think, uh, I think for our first time back, I'm uh, quite impressed with this. Nope, that's too much. We'll run wide in this uh, pavement section like we were yesterday, but the uh, pavement section is not up here for us to uh, drift around the, uh, the dirt and do the little jump section. So the car handles pretty good on 100% boost. Ooh, I don't wanna lose it. The turbo flutter sounds amazing in this car so I think we're gonna do one more lap here oh god definitely gonna need to get some people on and uh, try and do some uh, tandems here at either Nuremberg GP or some other tracks here on the on the Xbox one until I get a PC going definitely would like to get some guys Maybe some of the TUS guys will uh, hop on Xbox Assetto if they have it. I know they all run PC Assetto. And it's a different world for sure. The physics, the handling, it's, you know, I have noticed actually on Assetto that I'm not as twitchy in my steering. That's probably because of the way the cars feel and the way the physics are. 
I don't have to be as twitchy on uh, on the wheel in Assetto. So definitely looking forward to getting more and more into this game as the year progresses. So I think we're gonna do one more lap here and uh, drift some of the cool sections at 100% turbo. And then uh, that'll do it for this episode. Make sure you guys follow me on Instagram and Twitter. Don't follow me into the grass or the sand. That's one thing I need to work on is, uh, I guess, the short hairpins here at a set -up. Fourth gear, clutch kick it. I'm pretty sure if I tune this car, I could make it handle better. He's off gas, there we go. A little left foot brake. Does not look like I'm doing much, but we are still sliding. Just very slowly. And nice and smooth and slow. So I think that's going to do it here for this short video here on Friday. On a set of course on the Xbox One. Definitely just getting our feet wet here on Xbox with Assetto. So if you guys want to hop in and do some drifting either at like their GP, any of the other tracks, let me know down in the comment section down below if you guys have it. And you guys would be down because uh, I'd be down to uh, try and get some tandems in some uh, Supras or some of the other drift cars on some tracks other than the uh, drift playground that is overused in this game. Or we could go to the drift playground and just have some fun. So until next time, guys, I thank you guys for coming back. Oh, that's 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 done. <laughs> and as always, I thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Yeah.